The First Amendment of the United States Constitution guarantees certain rights, one of those being freedom of speech. But what does freedom of speech mean now? Are there exceptions? And are elected officials entitled to the same freedom of speech as the common citizen? Deborah Polly, a city council member in Villa Park, would soon find out the consequences of expressing her opinion. But are the consequences justified? And is there a different interpretation for free speech in regard to elected officials such as Polly? And sometimes there are issues that are so important that you need, you just have to speak out about them. On February 13th in Yorba Linda, California, protesters against speakers at a Muslim charity event invited the councilwoman Deborah Polly to speak. The comments made during the event were seen as offensive and racist by some members of the community. I have a wonderful 19-year-old son who's a United States Marine. As a matter of fact, I know quite a few Marines who will be very happy to help these terrorists to an early meeting in paradise. A public official is representing all their constituents, uh, Muslim, non-Muslim, everyone, and he or she has a right to express whatever opinion, but keeping in mind that he or she represents all their constituents and that is very important. They are using our freedom of speech against us. They are free to speak, but if we say anything about it, they claim that we are suppressing their right to free speech. Make no mistake, my friends. These who are assembling are enemies of America. They are your enemy. The consequences for Polly's remarks were widespread as media outlets all over the world picked up the story and protesters arrived in Villa Park on March 22nd to protest Polly's remarks. And if tomorrow we find somebody acting out on Miss Deborah Polly's statement that uh, uh, she knows Marines who uh, would show the Muslims a paradise, and if some person actually acts out on that and does harm to a resident of Yorba Linda or Villa Park of or, or Orange County or anywhere in the nation, then we will and we should as an organization and as, as a nation hold her personally responsible for that incitement. Let me tell you, what's going on over there right now? Make no bones about it. That is pure, unadulterated evil. I think it's far more important for us to protect and defend freedom of speech no matter what than to uh, make sure that um, every person, every citizen, public or private, uh, is uh, exercising that right uh, responsibly. The comments made by Polly, however not endorsed by the City Council of Villa Park, still had a negative lasting impact on that City Council. I'm, I'm ashamed, I'm embarrassed, the views you have do not represent my views, I can certainly say that, and I have a feeling they don't represent the rest of our council members' views. The question that still remains is, what does freedom of speech mean today? Maybe the meaning is different than it was 200 years ago, but today it means speaking your mind. A call to protect America from those sorts of radical uh, terrorist instigators. And speaking out. In any case, in this country, freedom of speech is a right. But as Deborah Polly discovered, the consequences of certain speech is far greater than it was 200 years ago, before the age of instant communication in the internet. I still have the right to freedom of speech, even though I'm elected.